This uh, video has kind of turned into the freshwater versus uh, brackish water inshore fishing. And uh, one of the biggest differences I'm noticing right away this time of year is the Hi, Mink and Bone Gang. We ain't got a whole lot of time today, so I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet. I am at this little canal right across from the boat launch. Caught a bunch, bunch of bass, bunch of bunch of bass. Caught a bunch of bass in here when I was on that little tiny kayak. I'm going to give it a try. Don't know if I can get the boat up in there. But we're going to give it a go. Got off at 7.30 this morning from old work, and then I got to bring Tank to the vet this evening, so we're in a time crunch. But we're going to try and get it done. We got a monster bass box today. We're actually fishing with the October monster bass in November. Yeah, I know. I'm a rebel. All right, to save time, I have everything that needs to be tied on, tied on, on the rod and reels already. I'm going to start off with the Mustad underspin, and then I still got to put on the soft plastics. But if you're not familiar with Monster Bass, great product. I got a link in the description below, as well as a whole playlist where I do a bunch of different Monster Bass stuff if you want to check that out. But let's get it on. So I'm going to be starting with, where is it at? Oh, let me cover this so you don't bite a trouble hook like a Puyon again. Yeah, this is probably going to be my favorite bait of the day. Love an underspin. I've actually had this one before and I lost it. I broke it. So thanks, Monster Bass, for hooking me up with another one. Now, one awesome thing is whenever they give you stuff, any soft plastic they give is to match what they give you. Awesome to pair it up with. So to be paired up with the underspin, they gave us a big bite baits, uh, what they call this thing, a five inch crane thumper. Cane thumper, excuse me. They also gave us this guy by z-man to go on their chatter bait mm. and i do like that white color so uh let's go ahead and put the thumper on there right now because the water is kind of muddy so this darker color might do the trick we'll give her a couple of tosses if we don't catch nothing on that might change her up feel free to stop me if i'm talking too much yeah i don't think i feel like trying to mess with that so uh we're gonna go ahead and pick it up and head on to the next one All right, well, I'll stop the pretty good ways of where I was actually heading to because I wanted to try fishing this bank along this canal before we get there, see what's going on. Whoops, that was, that was weird. <laughs> Water temperature is 71 degrees. It is the fall, so I've already decided today that uh, even if I don't catch anything, I'm still putting this video out because that's fall fishing, or it's fall bass fishing at least. Brackish water fishing is a little bit different. I don't know. I, you know, I got the fish figured out a little bit better, or they just act different. Although I still get skunk doing that, so don't get me, don't get me wrong. Ooh. Hold on, Waylon, sit, sit, sit. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, um, uh, the struggles of fishing with a poodle, I guess. <laughs> that could have been worse. My goodness, dog. That's my bad. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my bad. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Yeah. On a suspending jerk bait, baby. Woo! Fish off fish off that's all right i was kind of scared of them hooks to be honest with you. them suckers is razor sharp Whew. skunk is out the boat kind of kind of sort of this might be a good spot they got a on the big main lake and they got this little offshoot right here and they got a oh i just seen a flash a uh, flash in the water might be some bait fish anyway there's a bird right there he's hunting so there's got to be something right there he's hunting so hopefully we found the bait which means we'll probably find the fish so i think i'm gonna park it right here by this entrance right here and uh is that a i hope that's a tree trunk not an alligator that thing's huge oh no I got my puppy dog with me. That is a monster. Waylon, please stay in the boat, buddy, because uh, I ain't trying to jump in and stab that sucker. I ain't going to lie. At first, I thought that was the log. You see that little tuft of grass sticking up behind him? I thought that was the roots and it was a tree laid over. Nope, that's a big old boy. Yeah, hope he hears me. He's moving. Jeez. 
Cho, that's a big boy. Look, he's taking all the lilies with him. Where you going, T-boy? Hopefully he going away from me. I ain't worried about him, but uh, I got a puppy dog, and if this puppy dog decides to hang his head over and that alligator is hungry enough, I don't think I really got to explain to you my concern, you know? Hmm, no. Oh, what was that? Oh, garfish. Daggummit. I got excited for a second there. He took after it like a daggum torpedo, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Oh, man, there's a mess of them in there. Hmm, nothing. There's a stingray right there. Is that, is that all we got back here? I mean, look at this area. It's freaking gorgeous. And I ain't seen a single fish except for that daggone stingray. I don't get it. Man, I just don't get it. Water's pretty back here. My feet are getting sunburned. And we're running out of time. And nothing. All right, guys, it's a couple of few days later. Different day, different shirt. But um, it was a struggle bus back where we were and mostly fresh water, it was still tidal. But today I decided to come down to a new spot where it's more brackish, more salt content, higher salinity. Uh, so we might even get into some speckled trout. We're still gonna see if we can't catch some bass along with some redfish and speckled trout. Here in this lovely spot right here, there's a little trinoth coming out of that uh, drain in that marsh. It is a falling tide until about noon o'clock pretty good tide range about a foot tide range so it's gonna be a good day i got a feeling this little spot right here i'm seeing all kinds of stuff here it's spinning the water making a lot of motion over there on the bank so i think i'm done talking to y'all i'm gonna go, go ahead and get to fishing all right if it wasn't already obvious with the title and thumbnail this uh video has kind of turned into the freshwater versus the uh, brackish water inshore fishing and uh one of the biggest differences i'm noticing right away this time of year is the gnats. These things come out of the marsh and boy are they vicious. No wind this morning, which means plenty of gnats. So go get you some Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. This stuff, strangely enough works. Don't know why it works. Just make sure uh, you explain that to the wife before you come home smelling like it. She gets to wondering, you know? Still using the same uh, monster bass baits that we did the other day. We'll start off with this here, uh, this here jerk bait. I don't care to fish with popping corks oh was that a fish i don't care to fish with popping corks uh especially since i don't have a spinning reel anymore spinning combo but this uh this kind of acts like the same way it's a suspending jerk bait so it's gonna sit at about three foot when i'm jerking it and popping it just like it would on a popping cork so they'll probably mistake it as a shrimp is it grass or is it a fish It's a crab. How can you catch a crab on a jerkbait? It's a decent crab too. Look at this guy. Bro, we got you hooked good too, huh? Dang, I don't think I brought flyers again. I'll be a suck egg mule. Certainly turned out to be an interesting video. Oh, Long's telling me it's time to catch fish. Utter chaos out here. Oh, come on, pause the old. Come on, trolling motor. What are you doing? Thank you. All right, Mr. Crab. Uh, yeah, you hold on to that bait with your claws while I try and get this out your leg. Don't you bite me. Oh, 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 he's going to pinch the crap out of me. Come on. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about your leg. All right. Well, that didn't turn out quite the way I planned. All right. Well, I guess that's something. There we go. Oh, let's see what we got here. Hold on. Let's see what we got. Got a redfish. We keeping fish today, too, because I ain't got no fish in the freezer. Woo, baby. Come on, now. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Come on. I need this uh, trolling motor to sit still. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty one, too. That's going to be a pretty one, too. See if we can flip him. Yeah! All right. Kind of had y'all down on the ground there for a second. Look at him. That's a pretty size right there, buddy. Whoa! Come on, man. One of these days, I'm going to learn how to grab a fish. 
Ooh, 21 inches, 20, 21 inches. Good for me. Here he is, y'all. Fish number one in the boat. Woo, skunk out the boat. All right, well, call that a red bass, I guess. Call that one on the Mustad underspin with that uh, Z-Man swim bait. Now, the reason I stopped here is we got this buyer. It's like a little three-way coming in. This one, this one, and this one in a second right here and they have all these current lines i was thinking maybe some speck of trots be uh lined up up in there just waiting for me to catch them but i was wrong a little pond back there draining in that little spot when i got here i was about to take off go down this way that current's moving right here and i seen this grass line right here so i wanted to stop on this point give it a try and uh it paid off so i reckon i'm gonna go ahead and uh make a couple casts right there along that grass line See if we can't get some more, you know? Oh yeah, this fish chasing right there. I think we might be in a good little spot. Might be able to just camp right here and get some fish. Oh, nope. That was just my imagination. There we go. Got another one. Another something. Oh, is that a speckle trout or is it? I missed it. Nope, it's a bass. Nice bass. <laughs> Look at that dude. Oh, come on, Mr. Trolling Motor. Cooperate. Struggling with that trolling motor today, boy. Look at that bass, though. Yes, indeed. Not too bad. Not too bad for a marsh bass. That's a nice fish. She doggy. Well, already we're doing a ton better than we did the other day in the beginning of this here video. Thank you, buddy. Get that sweet release. Yeah, be you ready, cousin. just didn't know he was free yet goodness yeah so one thing to keep in mind when you're fishing brackish water versus fresh water it's still a bass you're still a bass they still follow the same rules generally speaking i mean usually when you find moving water you it's easier to find a fish and well in tidal water if the tide's moving the water's moving there you go we've got this grass line this beautiful grass line grass is still green all the way up this bayou so i'm just just picking the edge of this grass line. We're just picking it apart. I mean, right there is where I caught the redfish. I kind of jumped back and forth a little bit just to see. But I think uh, I think we're going to go ahead and work this grass line. Probably pick up a few of them green trout as well as some redfish. Hopefully, we can find a speckled trout or two. Get the old trifecta. The red, green, and speckled. But, uh, you know, turning out to be not bad of a day. We're pretty warm here shortly, though. Oh, I seen him come get it. Daggum it. I don't know what it was, but we missed it. Pretty sure that was a bass, the way he looked like he hit it. Daggum it. Looked like it was a pretty decent size, too. It'd be like that sometime, you know? Oh. Oh, that's a fish. As soon as it hit the water, I didn't even get a crank off. Looks like it could be another bass. Oh yeah, another decent sized bass too. Well, I say that. It's still decent for a marsh bass. I ain't mad at that. Can't be mad at that. Another healthy bass too. That's what I'm talking about. These marsh bass, that brackish water marsh bass. All right, little Lodgy. Thanks for playing. Very nice. I mean, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. So I took, I stopped right here in this little S curve in this bayou and they got a little uh, Trinos coming out of this marsh that breaks off into three little fingers. So I figured I'd try right here where that marsh would drain. See what we could get. Honestly, was expecting maybe a trout or two or maybe a redfish, but I guess these bass are just all along these edges. Big grass bob, grass mat right there. I, I'm enjoying whatever it is. Oh, that's a fish too. Speckle trout, boys! Come on. And I'm freaking controlling all this button keeps getting stuck. There we go. Got us a speckle trout. Speckle trout. Speckle trout. <sighs> trolling motor troubles. I'll tell you what, that trifecta, that grand slam. Now the size done went up to 13.5. Oh, 
13. Well, actually, I don't think it started yet. 13 and a half. But uh, no, he's not gonna make it. But we're gonna go ahead and tag this little guy. Cause I brought my tagging stuff. All right. Here we go, little buddy. Got your tag. Have a good one. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Oh no, that was a speckle trout. Dang it. And I had another one following him. Missed. All right, I think there's a redfish tailing right there. I see him fins. I see him fins. Oh, oh, did you see it? Come on, where you at? Why didn't spook him? No, I still see something over there. Oh, I threw right on top of him. That was not my intention. And nothing else. But we caught a few fish, had a great time fishing the fresh and brackish waters. Not that great at fall fishing, I must admit. Mostly because at this time of year, I usually switch my focus to uh, hunting. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you're sticking around because there's a lot of that content to come. But this year, I am going to focus on a lot more fishing during the late fall and uh, winter months. Try and get a little better at it, maybe learn some things and teach you guys as we go along. But that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, if you like speckle trout fishing, check out this video. It's one of my older ones, so it's not quite as good, but it's a, it's a fishing video. Okay, bye.